people what up welcome back to another video man as y'all can see we got a new season you feel me so i just went ahead and grabbed all the five different cards um that are going to be coming out this season and i just wanted to make a quick video talking about it one because i feel like i'm not going to be able to pull all of them due to y'all i mean y'all know how like the key system works right so i just wanted to at least find an opportunity to talk to you guys about all of them give you my thoughts kind of a live reaction to all of them so y'all kick back relax hit that like button and uh yeah man so as y'all know this is one card that we will have due to you know the season pass and that is hope summers hope hope mrs cheap mrs mrs what what like what is this ability y'all uh? after you play a card here you get plus one energy next turn that's so and and, and like i said you got i haven't even played for the season yet so i'm definitely gonna make a video on it soon but like just off the off the the top of my head my initial reaction to this is like why would they make a card like this <laughs> you feel what i'm saying this her ability so you look guys we have cars like zabu ravona um let me think of something else mr negative right um you know the location that decreases car costs you got cars like she hulk all cars that reduce power that you know morbius was put in place to you know kind of put make make kind of balance those using those cards right you also look at electro he limits you he even though he gives you extra energy he limits you to only playing one card per turn right you look at corvus glaive who just came out you must i mean he gives you extra energy right but you're you're only able to you have to get rid of two cards right so you're most likely only able to use corvus or you're best able to use corvus on a discard deck to make use of that that extra energy and even a card like wave or um i'm gonna talk about psylocke as well so wave both you and your opponent benefit from it psylocke is a one turn energy right the time stone is a one turn energy you feel me like you literally i i, I just see this getting out of hand really quickly bro like i and 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 you can her, you can like use her on any deck right because there's no there's no drawbacks or specifics about her ability right so it's 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 like the card just seems broken y'all i can't really think of a deck that i would create off the top of my head right now but like i said man expect the video on hope summers real soon i'm gonna cook something up y'all let me know what y'all think of this card man this is this is definitely a season pass card, right? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But let's let's get off of her before I before I get mad. Let's talk about young Pixie. So this this is you know her ability on reveal shuffle the costs of all cards in your deck that started there. And she's only two costs. I mean she's two costs but only has one power. Now I'm not gonna lie, Pixie seems a lot worse um it's, it's it's like you're gambling right she, she, i mean they got gambit in the game but you're literally you know what i'm saying trying to get lucky but a cool thing about her is right so if you if you um i don't know if you're running up against like a dark hawk deck they throw a rock into your hand or you got that vibranium mines location where you pull vibranium you're not gonna have to worry about you know the rock ending up costing five or the vibranium you know what i'm saying ended up costing like be anything besides one so that's cool it, it it i'm not gonna lie i wouldn't I, I probably won't be pulling for this card or if i do pull her i might just use her for a video and then never use her again because it just seems like a bad ability right um i'm sure there's some cool stuff that you could probably do um i don't know maybe even with adam warlock right to make him cheaper and that that might be something i might do if i get her but yeah man i don't like i don't really like pixie off off tops y'all let me know how y'all feel about her though i mean the art is cool though right no the art is definitely cool but up next man we got mockingbird and she kind of goes along with um cannonball in my opinion right 
So I'm gonna talk about them both kind of at the same time. So Mockingbird, five costs, nine power, costs one less for each card you have in play that didn't start in your deck. And then you got Cannonball on reveal, move the highest power enemy card here away. If you can't destroy it with a rock, so when I see these two, right, I I immediately think that you definitely want to use like a, a car like debris with these two, like a kind of like a junk deck. So you can even um so each card in play that didn't start in your deck. So that also applies to cars like the hood. Um, once you put down the hood, you get the demon out. It cheapens your mockingbird right um sentinel obviously you could use her on some like cool devil dinosaur because every every time you use a car like agent 13 you know uh agent coast and you're adding different cards that didn't start from your deck make her cheaper so it, it's a lot of real interesting ways that you could use her right but reason why i said they kind of work together with debris is because if i'm if i'm reading uh cannonball's ability right i'm assuming that you know if if the locations are filled right because you're using a junk deck with debris and you can't move it you take one of your rocks to destroy it is that how it works we're gonna find out you know what i'm saying in a couple of weeks when he actually comes out but i really like these two cards not because i think that they're um you know especially good or bad it's because i feel like they just open up a, a new style of a deck right it and it's not you're not exactly really using a junk. I mean, you can you can add them to like a junk deck with Annihilus, the hood, um, you know, Sentry, right? But it, it's like you're making, it, it's just a new style, right? Because they, they just, I, I just, they're just so unique. Like, like, I don't really know how to articulate it right now, but it, it's just like, you know, um if if i'm to, to compare it to something in the game right now it's kind of like a better version in my opinion of black boat and stature right because you kind of just throw them um on they, they call them like good cards stature decks right we just use like good cards it's, it was it used to be dark hog before they got nerfed and you threw black boat and stature on that type of deck but now you can take these cards and you can make whole decks um you know around them or just add them to like a junk deck right so it's really cool man um and y'all let me know what you guys think of these i'm not sure why um they decided to like give them these certain powers um i can't really predict if they would have been broken had they cost less or had they been powered differently right now obviously because i haven't used them but that's a good thing about it being a new season right we gonna we gonna find out you feel me? And it is just that simple, right? Also, um, you can also throw cannonball on on a uh a kingpin deck, right? So just just another uh you know way that I see myself uh wanting to use them, right? If I do get the chance to pull them. But um we on to this last card, and that is big war machine. I think outside the hope summers, this is probably the best um the best card the card that i'm gonna make sure that i get out of this season right and let's just go ahead and read them so four cost six power and on reveal until the end the next turn nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere so it's, it's literally an anti-storm uh anti-lockdown card right everybody want to you know um ha have their have their daredevil out so that they could get their professor x on turn five no you can't you feel me you want to play storm that's fine i just not play that location i play war machine somewhere else on the next turn and then you know you feel me i don't even have to really care about you saying that cards can't be played here because now i could just play them over there if i if i want to right so i really think this is a, is a cool card um it, it, it's a lot of new stuff right so we got like a new junk slash move deck right um like anti-move with kingpin or something like that and then we literally have like an anti 
an anti-lockdown card, right? So I think these three are probably the most interesting. Um, Pixie is, is, I mean, she's whack in my opinion. And then Hope Summers is, is, I just assume her getting nerfed as soon as the season ends, right? When, when she no longer costs that 1099. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed, man. This is probably going to be a double upload because, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying something different with the way I put my videos out. But yeah, you guys, I thank you for everybody who's been watching the videos, supporting the videos. Y'all be sure to continue that. Like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. And I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.